Hello, you wonderful people. So for today's video, I wanna share some thoughts and theories I have about season two of Charmed. And when I'm referencing Charmed, I mean specifically the reboot. Um, obviously, if you're not caught up with the show or haven't seen the season one finale, do not watch this because I'm going to spoilers. I'm also gonna reiterate some of the stuff I brought up during the season one finale review. So do keep that all in mind. An interesting conversation that came up about the season one finale was kind of like, okay, so where do they go from here? Because they've already defeated the source and everything thing and it's like this is the source of all evil so where do you really go from there and it's something I brought up too it's like they had originally defeated the source in the original show pretty early on if I remember correctly I mean it didn't stop like other demons and other you know monsters coming after them and whatnot you know so it's not like that aspect to it is going to disappear but I guess it's the whole concept of like well the fact is the source has been defeated you know so they're still kind of like you know where, where do you go above beyond that like why do you have to fear anything now that the source has gone to defeat? like everything else is going to be kind of easy peasy essentially but my thought process is the fact is for one the source isn't dead the source is an appendant broken into three different pieces scattered around the world to be fair anyone could get it because at first I was thinking like well maybe it only a demon would but it's like no let's not forget Fiona wanted to gather it up to make sure that um, she could wipe out magic for good so anyone looking for that power could easily come 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 looking for it. That might even be one of the things they have to deal with next season is the fact is all these different demons have ro risen up to be like, oh, we're going after the charm ones because we're going to be the ones to defeat them so that we can find out where the source is. And once again, it might not even be a demon. It might just be like some humans who just stumble across it and then just like you know the source inside the pendant like maybe three different people find the pieces of the pendant and it's like oh they end up getting drawn to each other and the pendant comes back together or something maybe maybe not another thought process I had is that maybe something even bigger and badder than the source ends up popping up because the thought process I had was that it didn't really get popped up, it didn't really come up at the very end of it, but something Harry had brought up was like that basically there are cosmic consequences for Macy rewriting reality multiple times she did. Obviously when she tried, when she brought back Galvin, it ended up killing all the people he had sacrificed himself to save essentially. So, but even though they reverse timed and everything kind of undid all that to a certain extent, I still feel like that damage is such a cosmic thing like rewriting history that it still kind of cracked the universe. So it might be a situation of they have to kind of deal with the consequences of that next season of just like things not really working. Like even things within the supernatural world, maybe they have a way of like there's a natural order to things even in the supernatural realm that maybe that kind of gets thrown out of whack because of that whole situation. Maybe like I was referencing earlier, maybe an even bigger bad or evil is released because of something that was sealed away even more powerful, even more ancient than the source of all evil. You know, maybe we could see something going down that route. On along those same lines too, maybe we'll even see something, there'll be ramifications for the fact is that Macy was the source, even for you know, depending on how you want to go about it, because obviously she was it for she was connected to the source for a longer experience uh, point in time just because of the whole like her rewriting history but obviously when they reversed time it kind of made it even less time that she was connected to the source but still maybe being tied to the source having her demon side might have balanced it out but who knows what that might do to her who knows that that might have jump started something else in her demon side or maybe it just who knows what it's kind of done to her maybe that's something they'll potentially tackle but like I was also saying like a lot of their adversaries or at least other like big parts of the show have kind of been dealt with. Like I said, the Fiona situation, Alistair's dead, which to be fair, maybe there'll be some other demon that kind of rises up to kind of replace Alistair. Uh, the Sarkana, even though they weren't evil, they've been taken care of, but you know, only one left is Jade. So will we see Jade kind of build up her own Sarkana of a sort to kind of replace what was lost. I mean, obviously there's a whole conversation about her family. Could she end up going back to them? Because like her new surrogate family, the Sarkana is gone. So, and that was kind of a foundation of all that she kind of latched onto all she really had. Another conversation I had too was the whole aspect of like, well, what did this mean for the Charmed Ones and Harry now that all the elders are gone? Like, are they gonna have to start filling that role? Are they gonna have to, well, cause it seems like at the very end, it's like, oh yeah, all these, you know, different uh, magical creatures come to them. Cause it's like, hey, you're the Charmed Ones. You defeated the source of all evil. We kind of have to come to you now because I mean, who knows what their relationship, like every other like creature, what their relationship was like 
with the elders. Maybe the elders never really listened to them. Maybe they did, and now all the magical creatures have to go to the Charmers because it's like, well, you're the next higher authority and everything. So yeah, I'm curious to kind of dive into that more. Also, maybe we'll get to see them interact with more witches because they didn't really, other than this Arcana, they didn't really run into any other witches kind of in a similar situation of having like a charge like, you know, Harry around and stuff like that, you know? That's also another conversation too. What about the other white lighters that are out there potentially doing their work too? It's like, who do they go to for guidance and kind of point in the direction that they need to, you know, I mean, obviously they probably got their own plans of like, oh yeah, this is like the path we, you know, protect our charges and, you know, and keep them on their certain paths. But still like, what do you do when your bosses are going essentially? So obviously there's also the conversation about Parker, him and struggling with his whole demon side situation. And that's something I brought up too. Like obviously comparing the parallels between his relationship with Maggie to Phoebe and Cole from the original show, difference in being that Cole was like a full blown demon and that got complicated later on when he kind of lost his demon powers and stuff. It's a whole thing. But, um, you know, at least in Parker's case, he's only half demon, half human. So obviously that's going to be something he's going to be struggling with. So maybe we could see him pop back up in season two in what capacity. We kind of have to wait and see in that regard. And obviously Mel has her complicated relationship where it's like, oh yeah, Nico knows about the magical world and everything, but Mel is trying to keep her distance from her because it's like after everything that they kind of been through, it's like, it's not right for me to kind of involve her in this any further so that becomes a conversation too of like well where does Mel go you know next season I mean this kind of applies to all three of them like relationship wise you know is Maggie going to wait for Parker you know is a, a new love going to spring and it's going to complicate things I mean, because also like at least with Parker she could be 100% open because it's like oh he's half demon so I don't have to worry about endangering him too much with this whole supernatural world that was like Macy's issue with the whole Galvin situation that's Mel's situation with Nico so that's what made the whole Jade relationship Jada relationship good because it's like oh she's a witch too so she can understand well witch and half white lighter because we can't forget about that like that's such a detail that I feel like never just verbally gets brought up enough because I almost let that slip my mind I don't know these are like I said these are just my thoughts and theories about some of the stuff potentially we could see kind of pop up and develop in season two so in the comments down below let me know some of your thoughts and theories do you agree with some of mine do you disagree where's your mindset at when it comes to season two of charm but really that's all I want to talk about so the next time we meet be happy be safe love life to the fullest and enjoy it good day and good Bye.